Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty setting, everything cranked up to the maximum. We're in the solar system number four. Uh, the solar system I think goes by the name of Symphian, Symphian something. Yeah, C C uh, Cygnus. There we go, Cygnus. And it is a system that offers work for a pirate. Yar. And that's exactly what we are going to do. We're working for the pirates. Now let's do a recovery mission. That's an interesting mission type. Haven't played that in a while. Lily is still injured from the last time, so we're going to give her some time off. And instead, we're going to get Mox back. And... Since Mox... Well, everybody has four gunnery now. Yeah, well, Mox, you're going to ride the Raven then. There's no shame in doing so. The Raven also got the comm system plus, plus, plus. That means plus four resolve every single round. So we're going to get those sweet, sweet extra shots in. And hopefully with a good tactic, we might not even take much damage. Jungle as a biome is good. We can use a small max because you want to move fast in that biome. And uh, from a heating standpoint, it's kind of moderate. There is also some water, so we'll be able to potentially park our mechs there if we really need to um, to work against the overheating. Very well, let's start to deploy. 16 salvage. That is a fantastic number. Let's hope that there is a heavier mech. Like a couple of really good medium mechs would be fantastic. Alright, we're moving up. We'll go. Location confirmed. This here is an interesting map to fight over. There's definitely an extra kind of layer of difficulty with the towers here. That's one, two, three, potentially like a fourth tower somewhere. So, a solid amount of firepower that we would need to overcome. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there is no tower. Awaiting orders. Good. Mox moves up. Let's sprint over here and okay. let them move into us. Now nah, we're just going to completely move over here. Full throttle. What's up, boss? I can't. Good. We're being behind this uh, rough terrain here, fighting against four medium mechs, so they out uh, number, uh, they out match us in pure firepower. Something you want done? Good, so we can move up to here. Let's Move all the way to here and see if we can hit this guy really well. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Oh, that was a bit of a latency. Oh boy, we're getting pounded. Well, that's the retaliation. That's why they were waiting. Hunchback is a heavier mech, much heavier than ours. Good. We're staying here for now, Bradford. Hits the mech really well. And 
potentially he's seeing some sort of retaliation. Oh boy. Ogbite oh, definitely needs to go back. Armor low. Commander? Yeah. Yes, Commander. All right, fire starter moves up. Now let's get this guy down. Oh. Trebuchet retaliates, but Light damage. luckily uh, we are sp splitting the damage Commander. a bit between all of uh, the potential mechs. We're faster than them, so. We will get the first move, which is why I can go in and completely unload. Okay, fantastic. Right here. Good, Raven. How about we're moving up here? On the move. Good. Bracing ourselves. Fantastic. On to reserve. And let's continue to Waiting go right on move. to reserve. Standing by. Trebuchet moves up, takes cover. Okay, cool. No problem. I'm going to do something that they will find not funny at all. Which is not giving them an opening. Oh, by just braces. Hunchback cannot do yes, a commander. thing. First order. Moves up. We're just regaining our heat. Trebuchet moves up, and that's fine. But guess what? We got the last laugh. We got the last lap. All right, on to the hunchback. Because that guy did hurt quite a bit. They're still playing stupid games. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Alright, Trebuchet double moves in. Cool, yeah. Thought he's being extra smart. Yeah, didn't really work out. Instead, let's actively probe. That means the uh, trebuchet has reduced uh, um, evasion blips. Hunchback moves up. Okay, cool. Ready for orders. Receiving you. Bradford moves in Acknowledged. all the way to there. That's really good cover. Taking the shot. And continues to hit that guy. Trebuchet really cannot do much. Ogbite continues to move back. Aye, aye. And let's use our full power with the short range weapons against the trebuchet. 
targeting for an alpha strike. Again, we're well cloaked. Standing by. Reserving. And we're playing the same game. They will need to move in. Trebuchet completely moves in. Takes a couple of hits against the blackjack. That's fine. Awaiting orders. Good, we're getting back into stealth mode and the trebuchet is going to take some more damage. Alright, Hogbright is a uh, with the blackjack, stands up here, and let's hit that trebuchet. Okay, we gotta be more careful. Warning. Armor breached. Order. Internal damage. Firestarter moves even further a bit back. Firing all weapons. And melts the armor of the trebuchet. Commander. Affirmative. Vindicator continues to move back. Engaging target. By. Yeah, we just don't want to provoke them further. What's up, Commander? Good, so how about we're moving to here? And we're just bracing. Yes, Commander. Here we go. Good. Let's see what they are going to do. Nothing. And nothing. And let me guess, a big fat piece of nothing. All right. Standing by. But we're needing to cool down. Trebuchet. It's just running in, okay. Bite. Let's take a couple of shots. All weapons committed. Enemy mech critical damage detected. Commander. Yeah, we could. Hmm. It's a bit like a ring around the rosy here. Cannot actively probe them yet.
This is potentially the best move. I leave the Vindicator uncloaked, but the Vindicator is also the one with the most armor at this point. Let's see what they are going to do. Yeah, Hunchback just moves up, takes a couple of shots. Okay. Losing lots of armor. Ready for orders. Good, we're moving up. Moving to position. We're doing vigilance. That gives us entrenched plus a nice bonus um, from the forest and the hunchback just is going to take it all Roger. nice little alpha strike solid connection on that one uh, that's a lot of armor gone Good, let's see what the trebuchet is going to do. Not too much damage. At least they are no longer following us. So, Hogbite moves up. We're continuing with the trebuchet. Pastata moves up and let's hopefully kill the trebuchet. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Tango down. Standing by. Good, I think we're in a solid position to no longer just run away. Although, nah, I think we're fine. We should be fine. Four evasion blips is good, good enough. Confirmed. Fantastic. Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. No All right, moving up. Oh, let's just hit that hunchback. It's probably not going to go down. On Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. But realistically speaking, we only got the trebuchet against us afterwards, so might as well really fully unload on that hunchback fantastic good so we're going to take like one severe battery of uh, lrms and now trebuchet is almost overheating Can we? Yeah, we can get another medium laser in there. Fantastic. Aye, aye. Good. Moving up with fire starter. And let's hit it really well. Target's taking a critical hit. Ready for order. Speed there in the chip. 
But we're continuing to just chip away and eventually we're going to get it down. Aye, aye. Indicator moves up and let's take a couple of shots. Okay, so he's unsteady. Hogbite has a weak spot here. I don't want uh, to cause any trouble for him, so we're just going to reserve and hope that he's not going to be the main target. Yeah, the guy is trying to cool down and move away. But that's not going to work out. We're following him. And now two of his weapons are already damaged. Yes, Commander. Good. Three movement blips, exactly what we want. And I would continue with precision strikes, to be honest. Just to get him to two initiative. Moving to position. Oh, you want some of this? All right, one arm gone. On the move. And let's continue to really harass uh, him as well as we can. LRM 15 is gone. I'll again wait with Hopboy. I don't want to take any chances. I think everybody else can take a beating. Hopboy potentially could not. Okay, fantastic. Affirmative. If I start the moves up and copy that. We're just continuing Reporting to harass the trebuchet. Alright, it can't do much other than attacking the fire starter or essentially running into us and trying to get the raven. Good. We're still continuing to hit it and boy boy, all of its core functions are red. I copy. Indicator. Target confirmed. There we go. That was just a matter of time. Like everything was down. in uh, single digit hit point status. Good. Let's hope we're not going to fight against another. Out. Lance, so that one was already pretty tough. On my way. And given that we can salvage quite a bit, I am hopeful out. that we're going to get the hunchback. Trebuchet. Trebuchet would be nice as well. The asset has been secured and is ready cool. for Good. So that worked out well. Trebuchet would be nice as well. It's an. Um, Fantastic! Uh, it is a fantastic um, missile boat. So, at fantastic might be too much uh, praise for it. It is a good missile boat for a medium mech. Definitely better than the Vindicator and the Blackjack. So, what do we get? Hunchback, hunchback, hunchback. Fantastic. And we got two trebuchets. So, might as well pick that one. 
where we already got one out of three. And look at that, we even collected all of the other, we, we almost collected everything with the exception of that um, trebuchet 7k part. So yeah, we got a hunchback. <laughs> we got a hunchback, fantastic. Good, so can we, uh, we cannot, we cannot put the Vulcan back because that one is too badly damaged, but we can put the Panther into storage. We got a new toy to play with, Hunchback 8 energy hard points. Which is why that guy hurts so, so bad. That's a great brawler. Almost up there on the upper level of uh, weight for a medium mech. But yeah, you could definitely make a case for it being one of the stronger... Uh, mm, max in the medium category just due to its ability to brawl that efficiently so this would be the greedy version of the build just look at the firepower right 260 that's a substantial upgrade to what we're trying to do and in terms of equipment Currently, 114 heat. Put an exchanger in here. It's 96. That's not bad. That's not bad. You could go with a massive heat bank. Oh, that would. That's going to be an interesting build. You definitely could go with that massive heat bank uh, because you'd be able to stomach quite a bit of alpha striking. So something along the lines of that build wouldn't be too bad. Like that is 45 heat uh, sink. Alpha strike is 96, but I uh, overall that's 18 from small lasers, which you regularly wouldn't fire. Which you regularly wouldn't fire. So that's like what? 76 and 45 would be the heat sinking capabilities. That is not terrible. You could definitely go for something along the lines of just reducing this here a tiny bit. And go for another heat sink. So then we're looking at 50, that's a 26, 28 uh, heat deficit. Not too bad, considering that you would have the heat bank in here. Definitely some, uh, something that would run quite hot. But, I mean, you can just dial down the amount of medium lasers. And it would still be going. Plus, it's a lot of armor. So, almost... I'm always almost talking myself into those 22 days here. And using our special equipment. It's a... Fantastic mech as a brawler and just look at that raw power 260 damage with 
like almost no loss tech this year it's just for heat management this these here are all normal lasers there is no improved medium laser plus plus for extra damage so the hunchback can pack quite a punch the other option that we could do is instead of lasers go for machine guns but i think we're pretty short on machine guns overall let's check the store real quick Yeah, only two machine guns, and we would need three in order to make it work. No, I think it's fine. I think it's actually fine. This here will be a massive brawler. The range is not great, but the durability is fantastic, and the firepower is just fantastic as well. I like the mech. It doesn't cost much to modify it. Hunchback is definitely going to be one of uh, those mechs once we get it going that will upgrade our lance. Like, that's 260 damage. If you compare that with our absolute maximum damage that we're currently having, which is 180, yeah, it, it's simply an upgrade towards what we're currently doing. Plus 840 armor, whilst, I, if I'm not mistaken, he was clo uh, closer to 1000 armor. So. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good mech, and all of that for just five more tons of space. <laughs> good. Uh, let's take a last look at our pilots. Mech warrior training. Just training the mech warriors a bit. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Something I can do. Standing by. Training confirmed, Commander. Confirmed. Good. Waiting on you, We're almost at those special um, uh, special abilities level. And as a next mission, let's get some more salvage because that worked so well. I think we're going to do this mission here and just salvage another 16. And maybe we're lucky and we're going to get another larger mech. We already have two out of three from a trebuchet. That could be another upgrade. So things are looking good, which kind of brings us to the end of today's episode. I still got a few more missions in this quadrant to go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy Battletech as a content, then leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Appreciate the conversation with you and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.